what is biomass? Biomass is basically an organic material that comes from the waste of plants and animals and it is a renewable source of energy. Following are the major sources of biomass which are useful in producing energy. Agricultural core and residues The waste of agricultural core that most of the farmers burns will be useful in biomass power plant. Sewage waste like human residue and the waste in drain system. Municipal solid waste is the waste in drain system. Animal residues is the waste of animal. Industrial residues is the waste that is useless for industries. Forestry crops and residues is the waste present in the forest. All these waste can be converted into biofuel or biogas that can be used in biomass power plant. When biomass is burned, the chemical energy in biomass is released as heat. Biomass can be burned directly or converted to liquid biofuels or biogas that can be burned as fuels. Biomass Conversion Technologies To increase the heat efficiency of biomass, following conversion technologies are utilized. Densification Thermochemical Conversion Biochemical Conversion Now explaining, densification process. A process that produces either liquid or solid fuel called as biofuel or biogas is called as densification. This process produces a denser and more uniform properties than the raw biomass. Biofuel and biogas. Direct burning of biomass like wood residues utilizes only 10% of its heat. Therefore, technologies are required to convert biomass into high-quality usable fuel. Following are the sources that are used to convert biomass into high-quality usable fuel. Charcoal Charcoal is a smokeless dry solid fuel with high energy density that is used as a biofuel. Briquetting Densification of loose biomass like rice husk, sawdust, etc. can be converted into briquettes to reduce volume to weight ratio so that it can be easily handled and can be easily transported. Vegetable oil Rapeseed, palm, coconut oil is used to produce biodiesel. Biogas Anaerobic digestion of animal, plant, and human waste. Biogas is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, and various other gases. It has calorific value of 5,500. Producer gas Producer gas is a combustible gas manufactured by blowing a mixture of steam and air upwards through a bed of hot coke, or coal, such that the fuel is completely gasified. Ethanol Produced by fermentation of any feedstock containing sugar or starch like sugarcane, sugar beets, etc. Thermochemical conversion Thermochemical conversion can be done via pyrolysis and gasification. Gasification 
Biomass gasification is a mature technology pathway that uses a controlled process involving heat, steam, and oxygen to convert biomass to hydrogen and other products without any combustion. How does a biomass gasification work? Gasification is a process that converts organic or fossil-based carbonaceous materials at high temperatures, that is greater than 700 degrees Celsius, without combustion, with the controlled amount of oxygen and slash or steam into carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. The carbon monoxide then reacts with water to form carbon dioxide and more hydrogen via a water gas shift reaction. Adsorbers or special membranes can separate the hydrogen from this gas stream. Several types of gasifiers are currently available for commercial use. Countercurrent fixed bed gasifier or updraft is a fixed bed of carbonaceous fuel example coal or biomass through which the gasification agent like steam, oxygen, and air flows in countercurrent configuration. The ash is either removed in the dry condition or as a slag. The slagging gasifiers have a lower ratio of steam to carbon, achieving temperatures higher than the ash fusion temperature. CO current fixed bed gasifier or downdraft is similar to the counter current type, but the gasification agent gas flows in CO current configuration with the fuel downwards, hence the name, downdraft gasifier. Heat needs to be added to the upper part of the bed, either by combusting small amounts of the fuel or from external heat sources. The produced gas leaves the gasifier at a high temperature, and most of this heat is often transferred to the gasification agent added in the top of the bed, resulting in an energy efficiency on level with the counter current type. Since all tars must pass through a hot bed of char in this configuration, tar levels are much lower than the counter current type. Fluidized bed reactor the fuel is fluidized in oxygen and steam or air. The ash is removed dry or as heavy agglomerates that defluidize. The temperatures are relatively low in dry ash gasifiers, so the fuel must be highly reactive, low-grade coals are particularly suitable. The agglomerating gasifiers have slightly higher temperatures, and are suitable for higher rank coals. Fuel throughout is higher than for the fixed bed, but not as high as for the entrained flow gasifier. The conversion efficiency can be rather low due to elutriation of carbonaceous material. Recycle or subsequent combustion of solids can be used to increase conversion. Fluidized bed gasifiers are most useful for fuels that form highly corrosive ash that would damage the walls of slagging gasifiers. Biomass fuels generally contain high levels of corrosive ash. Fluidized bed gasifiers uses inert bed material at a fluidized state which enhance the heat and biomass distribution inside a gasifier. At a fluidized state, the superficial fluid velocity is greater than the minimum fluidization velocity required to lift the bed material against the weight of the bed. Fluidized bed gasifiers are divided into bubbling fluidized bed, BFB, circulating fluidized bed, CFB, and dual fluidized bed, DFB, gasifiers. Entrained flow gasifier, in the entrained flow gasifier, a dry pulverized solid, an atomized liquid fuel or a fuel slurry is gasified with oxygen much less frequent, air, in CO current flow. The gasification reactions take place in a dense cloud of very fine particles. Most coals are suitable for this type of gasifier because of the high operating temperatures and because the coal particles are well separated from one another. Plasma gasifier, 
in a plasma gasifier a high voltage current is fed to a torch, creating a high temperature arc. The inorganic residue is retrieved as a glass-like substance. Pyrolysis Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of biomass occurring in the absence of oxygen. It is the fundamental chemical reaction that is the precursor of both the combustion and gasification processes and occurs naturally in the first two seconds. The products of biomass pyrolysis include biocar, biooil, and gases including methane hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. Pyrolysis processes can be categorized as slow pyrolysis or fast pyrolysis. Fast pyrolysis is currently the most widely used pyrolysis system. Grinded biomass is introduced in the pyrolysis reactor where the biomass is condensed. Condensed biomass is processed and useless biomass is again introduced in the combustion chamber. After combustion, it is then again introduced in the pyrolysis reactor. The products of biomass pyrolysis include biocar, biooil, and gases including methane, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. Depending on the thermal environment and the final temperature, pyrolysis will yield mainly biocar at low temperatures, less than 450 degree, when the heating rate is quite slow, and mainly gases at high temperatures, greater than 800 degree, with rapid heating rates. At an intermediate temperature and under relatively high heating rates, the main product is biooil. These raw biomass products are moved through cyclone and collected at char collection. Some of these products are moved to quencher and cold water is also introduced in the quencher. At the end, these bio products are stored in biooil storage tank as biooil. Biochemical conversion Biochemical conversion can be done via anaerobic digestion and ethanol fermentation. Anaerobic digestion Anaerobic digestion is the conversion of biomass like animal and human waste into biogas. Anaerobic digestion is done by bacteria in the absence of oxygen. 60% of the biogas is methane that is combustible. This digestion takes place in biodigester. Sludge, a biosolid is produced as a byproduct which is used in fertilizers. Biomass process via anaerobic digestion. Biomass products like animal waste, crops etc. are introduced in the anaerobic digester where digestion occur and biomass product is converted into biogas and digs tate. Digs tate is used as fertilizer, livestock bedding etc. as shown in figure. The biogas is however used as heat, electricity, and biomethane. Biomethane can be used as fuel in vehicles or as a gas in grid station or houses. Let's now examine the process of anaerobic digestion. Anaerobic digester have a manure inlet from where biomass products are introduced. The introduced biomass product is converted into methane, carbon dioxide, and some other solids at high temperature the methane act as a biogas while carbon dioxide and other solid act as fertilizers etc. Note that anaerobic digester have two outlets. 
The upper outlet releases biogas while digs tate like fertilizers are extracted from lower outlet. Anaerobic digestion proceeds in three steps. Hydrolysis Acid formation Methanogenesis In the process of anaerobic digestion, the biomass products are converted into carbohydrates, proteins, lipids via hydrolysis. It is then converted into organic molecules like sugar and amino acids. These organic molecules are further converted into alcohols and acids via acetogenic bacteria. These acids and other products are then converted into methane and carbon dioxide which is our biofuel and biogas. This is done via methanogensis process. Ethanol fermentation is another useful biochemical conversion process. In the process of ethanol fermentation, ethanol is produced by decomposing biomass containing sugar like sugarcane, sugar beets, potatoes, corn, grape, etc. Ethanol is blended with petrol to reduce emissions from petrol combustion. Ethanol fermentation takes place by adding yeast in the absence of oxygen. In the ethanol fermentation, sugar and yeast is added to form carbon dioxide and alcohol. Now we shall discuss biogas plants. We shall examine the design and structure of these power plants. A device that converts animal waste and other organic matter into inflammable gas known as biogas and organic manure called as sludge under anaerobic conditions is called as biogas plant. Two popular designs of biogas power plant are as follow. Fixed dome type biogas plant. Fixed dome type biogas plant works on constant volume. Floating gas holder type biogas plant. Floating gas holder type biogas plant works on constant pressure and has a floating drum. In the fixed dome type biogas plant, we have a mixing tank and an overflow tank on the both side of plant. Mixing tank is installed on the ground level. Slurry of cattle dung and water is introduced via mixing tank in the plant. The temperature of biogas plant is very high. The biogas is produced inside the dome of plant at constant volume. This biogas is released in the outlet and used in power plant. The process of producing biogas is same for floating gas holder type biogas plant. The only difference is that it has a constant pressure inside the dome and has a floating drum where the biogas is collected. Kindly subscribe to Techno Designer and share videos with your friends.